I didn't watch any of it. So we're going to figure out what the worst nightmare of an urbexer is. And we'll just get into the video. I haven't watched any of this, so I have no idea what it is. You just sent me the link. We put it right up on the screen. So we're going to get going right into it, right? No, no further ado. Yeah. No more introductions or anything like that. I have nothing else to say. Let's watch it. So the channel name is Back in Time MC. Okay. Again, I'm assuming they're uh, an exploration channel. I didn't really look into who these guys are or what other videos they have. So All I right. just saw the title and thought it would be, you know, a video to check out, figure out what the worst nightmare is. So how many views are on this thing here? 845,000 um, is what I'm seeing, right? That's what that yep. is right there. Okay. Mm-hmm. 845,000. So the video is doing well. How many subscribers? 18.9 K. All right. So they got a little bit of heat off this video. It looks like they should be building up their subscriber base based upon videos like this. So this is good for them. Houses usually do pretty well. So they're going into a house right now. So 845,000 views on this video, nearly a million. How long ago is this posted? Two years. Two years ago. All right. So it's probably hit its heat. All right. So how'd you find this video? I literally just Googled like, um, I forget what I typed into YouTube, but it was like Urbex gone wrong or something like that. Okay. And, and then this came up, it was like one of the top videos that were on there. And I just looked at the thumbnail, basically what most people would look at when they're searching YouTube. I looked at the thumbnail and the title. I'm like, this might be a good video. So here we are. All right. So we're watching them right now. What do they got to say for themselves here? All right. So we already start off with a warning. So Before you watch this video, we would like to share some information with you. Firstly, we have decided to show this video to make others aware. Although it may look abandoned and derelict, that's not always the case. We found a derelict farmhouse. There was an entry point, so we decided to go in. First glance at the property and inside the property, it was clear that no one would reside here. There was a foul smell within the property. We walked around the house and no one was present, or so we thought. Okay. We decided to start our explore from the top, which was the first bedroom. We then went and explored a few more rooms. However, in one of the bedrooms, we discovered something that we was not expecting to. All right. They were not expecting that. Okay. okay. So we're, re- we're ready to go, right? Let's yeah. do it. We are starting in the upstairs of this place. What a cracking little finest is a bed. Tell you why, there's a, quite a few bits all around this old farmhouse. Look at that mirror of the drawers and everything. That's weird, look. Yeah, yeah there's a there. pretty crazy sconce line. I wonder what that is. Let me show you that. Got all the yeah. shoes, like an old suitcase underneath there. Slippers and that. Obviously, some birds have managed to get in there. As you'll see, dead bird there. That's what I was just going to yeah. say. I A saw bird, bird shit. Mm-hmm. I saw the bird shit all over the the dresser there. I was going to yeah. pause for that right there. It's a pretty. <laughs> Funny looking. That's just a sconce light. They did a, a cheap sconce light there on, on there. I've never seen a. That's like a pull cord light that would normally go in like a closet or something like that. Yeah. But uh, I was just gonna say there's bird shit all over there. I hate when the birds get inside of the houses and they shit all over the place and make nests and stuff like that. Um, yeah. I've had a couple encounters with live birds in inside of places. <laughs> so I don't like when birds are inside of there, especially shitting out the whole entire place it's kind of disgusting and uh yeah you don't really want to have it all over you wow look at that as well all the clothes are just spread everywhere look at these old style windows and you see that it's all starting to peel all off of the roof. Yeah. Gonna have a look in there. Oh god, the clothes are actually. Old vintage clothes. Yeah. Oh my god, that is just wow. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Another one as well. Yeah, there's just 
Go ahead. Jinx, jinx. <laughs> telepathy timing. Um, it's just one of those things that I think about, like house explorers are one of the top explorers that I would like to do because there's like a really cool aspect to kind of see how people like lived, but there's also a really sad side to it because it's like, you know, a lot of houses, if there was like an elderly couple who was living there and they left their things, like the pictures you see, you walk into somebody's home and it's like, you're, this is where somebody lived, their memories that they created. And it's sad to see that a lot of the stuff does get left behind. And we've probably said it in some of our videos. Well, like we've the said it in almost every video that yeah. we've done. One of those kinds of videos, we've always asked like, what made them leave? What were the hardships yeah. that they had? Because, because nobody that's doing well really kind of like just leaves their house. I mean, I'm tr really, really rich people have just abandoned their homes because they just didn't want to deal with them. There were problems with them or whatever it was. But we've gone to a lot of places where you could tell that everything was left behind. Also, you take into account the fact that there's piles of bills all over whoever's desk and whatnot. So at that point, yeah. you kind of know that they had a hard time and they had to evacuate very quickly. So, Yeah, but it's also like, where's their family members? Like it, in that sense where you see the bills and it, it could have been like a hardship or something like that. But it's like if it's an elderly couple and they have um, family or, you know, like <clears throat> nobody comes to take their pictures or take some of their... Well, there's, Stuff, a lot of, you know? there's a lot of times that people just don't really take into account any of the value of the things that might be there because there's been yeah. some places that we've gone to that have a lot of valuables inside of them and and a lot of people don't take that into account or just don't even care you know they might be a wealthy family that just doesn't want to come across the country or maybe even overseas to come deal with the property or whatever it is and it's just yeah. like the property has been paid for it's whatever, and they just leave the place abandoned, sitting there, and uh, it just becomes a tax problem at that point. So a lot of a lot of families just don't want to deal with it, or maybe they just didn't even have any close family. People cut ties with family all yeah. the time, so you never That's know true. what their situation is. Like you were saying, you just never know what these people's situations are, which does make you know these homes kind of sad in some sense. But you know, this this is actually a particularly terrible looking home at this point right now I, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know what nightmare awaits them right here there is oh, it's a stink in here it's bird shit man dead birds and bird shit it's the bird and the raccoon oh, shit that I always hated one. yeah well dead I raccoons really smell as you see that Shut up. All the undies. Look on top of here. It looks like a shotgun shell. Yeah, shotgun shells right there. Where's the gun? Oh, that lamp. Where's the gun at? Maybe that's a nightmare. That's a cool lamp. Crazy. Some old coins in that along here as well. I think probably the most impressive thing is I like is that bed. That's still made up. Here we come out of this room. We got a sort of so secret Shitty stairs. There. Looks like there's <laughs> shit all over the stairs. I've been inside of those houses. Our vans are have been caked yeah. in fucking <laughs> all kinds of animal feces. Luckily, no human feces. I could deal with the animal. If I stepped in human shit, I don't know. I'd be throwing up for like a year. Look at an old bed. He's got like an old hatch there as well. Window, a dumb waiter. Oh. What the heck? Well, I don't know what that's that. for. That, that's that like was for urine samples. That's for uh, urine samples. Uh, you just put the cup in there, and that's and what it looks like. But that's what it is. Oh, that was a bathroom on the other side. I don't know. Oh, I don't know why they would be taking urine samples in a farmhouse. Well, I know that, but that's just what it reminded me of. Yeah, of these old places. It was just like a little like. Opening to look at the hallway. Yeah, it's weird. 
Well, I guess you could like it might have been a to look in the kids' room. That might have been one oh, of the, so you look inside of your kids' room. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah. Oh, buff. Look at the wallpaper. That's before, that's before cameras. Yeah. Oh, the wallpaper is all peely. Yeah. I love the peely wallpaper. Along the top. Very cool. I like the I like the wall I like the actual wallpaper itself, it's but so I also cool. like when it feels. Yeah. That's that humidity Some right there. Shirts, belts, and that hanging up there. But it is crumbling down. Look. You know, I just want to say it's very hard to get wallpaper off when you're trying to do it, and yeah, then all these houses just peels off really nice and clean. Oh, floor's a bit dodgy. Nothing in there. Let's have a look. I can just imagine the smell. The thing is that they're starting in the upstairs here. I don't know why they're starting in the upstairs. Usually, oh well, no, in the, the way up. Well, now I forgot what the beginning said <laughs> because they said that they started in a room and then. All right, all right. I think the staircase might be a basement staircase. I don't know. Okay. This might be the first floor. I'm not sure. Oh, papers stacked up on the top there. Again, that. Wallpaper, yeah, perfectly peeled. Yeah, yellow flowery stuff. I like the way the window shoots in the video. Mm -hmm. Trying to step carefully just to test the walls. We got like an old heater along here. Vintage heater, but awesome like vintage TV. TV. That's a great vintage TV right there. Wow, T UHF channels as well. This guy has a weird sound in his camera going on. So we'll come along where Meg is. You've got some old perfume. It's there, Avon stuff. And quite a few old pictures. Is that like a little mantelpiece? Consumers piece? family. What is yeah, that? Is that like, like a it. little fireplace or something? Mm. Wow. I think so. Yeah, it's, it's a little, little fireplace with a little mantelpiece. That's Down cool. There. I've never it's seen one of those boys. before. As well. That might be an English thing. I guess this is where they are. Oh, they might be in UK. I yeah, mean, he has a slight there. accent. Oh, he definitely has an accent, but I don't Full know exactly where he is. But it sounds like he's in the UK. Coming to the main hallway area here. Search for walls. I shall show you this staircase. Look all the carpet. The heads down. It's like a nice, thin, narrow piece of carpet that comes all the way across. It's a runner. <laughs> you can see the carpet area. stains on the floor. You can see, like, yeah. right there where they picked one up and obviously yep. where that runner was. What an absolute beauty this place is. Get a light a bit better what the fuck there, is going on there? Head. I don't know. Yo, is there a dead body inside of that bed? They would have titled this dead body. The ultimate frame. The music is very ominous right now. So they still got the old bag. That's what the old people use these days, don't they? Get all the shopping in. Little table there with a few bits. The music is bugging me out. The guy did a good I'm job with the music. Job. <laughs> it's making me think that. Oh, here you go. Oh my god! Yo. Fuck you! Know. What you're, the? You're fuck? alive. You're yeah. alive. Fuck what do you know, mean mommy. you're alive? You thought there was a dead body yeah. in there? Yeah. No. What? We thought it was abandoned. We thought it was abandoned. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Holy shit! Are you okay? That's crazy. We thought the, what there's the, a window. There's, there's yeah, a we broke in your house. Downstairs. We get open. Yeah. yeah. Open wow, that's wild. What we do, we, um, we do videos. Pictures and... of like old farmhouses because we're really interested in them. Whoa, Ooh. that's crazy. We thought it was abandoned because of the. St no, you live in here. Oh, oh, holy no. shit. What the hell? That's crazy. So. First of all, 
I thought that there, that there was a dead body inside of that bed when they first walked inside of there. That walker sitting there was creeping me out. And then obviously the music goes off right there. But then when he turns around, it's like, you're alive. Like he thought there was a dead body inside of there, just like I did. You know, that is absolutely insane. Not for the fact that they just ran into a living person inside of there, that there's actually a person living inside of this house they were just in a, a a dead bird shitted in room there's clothes and 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 mattresses piled all over the place what is this lady living in that's crazy that is absolutely nuts that this lady is living inside of there i would be freaked the fuck out right now if i ran into that that's crazy unbelievable i'm literally just like shocked like i'm i'm actually like i feel terrible for this woman yeah and like that's really, really why bad. is she there like why not be at like a home or something well, like where you were just paid? saying like 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 you were just saying a lot of these people don't have family or anything like that and this that might is be so the house sad. that she had with her husband and her kids or and and their kids might have died or might not have had any kids or something like that well there was and pictures just, on that mantle it looked like she had a family or there was she just might be the last remaining member of her family right here and she's just waiting it oh out my. that's crazy oh, that I she's cry. Like you just said we know we don't know we might find out the story right here to one of these people we might actually get the answers as to why she was left inside this i don't even want to call it disgusting house because somebody lives there and 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 i feel bad for them and it's obviously their property but you know, you got to call a spade a spade sometimes. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, look at the, look at the dirt piled up underneath the bed there and all that. It's, it's I feel terrible. I feel terrible for this I mean, lady. her health, like this, the, what she's inhaling and sleeping well, in and breathing in. Like, you can see that there's mold other than the bird shit that's inside of there that oh has disease gosh. right inside of it. There's mold inside of that house. There's all kinds of stuff, and she's sleeping in it. Who knows what that mattress looks like? What's going on there? I mean, that's, that looks like a <laughs> Excuse <you>. me. <laughs> That looks like a hundred year old mattress in and of itself. So I don't know. That's crazy. Let's see what goes on here. This is nuts. I think it's a bit. Yeah, it is, yeah. Have you not got family? No. You haven't. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've got everybody. There you she's go. You scared the life out of him. You literally scared the life out of him. How do you think we can do to help you? Where are you from? We live in the house. Oh, my God. I want to cry. Uh, I've not got any kids, you're not got any grandkids. Whose farm's this then? Yeah, it's from Sponsor, yeah. So is this not your farm then? Wow. No. Is this your house? No. It's not your house? No. Oh. Did you know, do you just live here then? So she's homeless. Yeah, she's homeless. Oh, God. I'm sorry. We oh didn't realize we could all the cobwebs so, and all the decay. We just assumed that it was abandoned. No, it is abandoned. It's an abandoned house. That well, yeah. It's a homeless lady, it seems like right now. Like, it seems like this is a homeless old lady that's living inside of this farmhouse. I mean, from what you just described to the woman that's in the video, it uh, it is not her home. And she doesn't have any family that lives there or any family or anymore. Did. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. No. Oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ. What about food? How do you eat? Where? How do you eat food? Yeah. Do you eat food? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh bless. What do you do in the day then? Not a lot. Not a lot. And she's sleeping <laughs> right now. How old are you? <laughs> oh, sorry. A lady never reveals her age. You can't live in a place like this. You can't. I saw the clock was working. I, I mean, it's like I would rather sleep outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was. I mean, it's it's a lot healthier to sleep outside. Yeah. It's nice outside and not snowing in that case or cold outside. It's probably a lot healthier to sleep outside. You'll probably last a lot longer. She probably has, I mean, she's probably sick regardless because she's elderly, but she probably is developing, if not has, respiratory problems and things like that from all the terrible things that are inside of there. It only takes a little while before your body starts to really feel bad. And especially if there's black mold and you're sleeping inside of some place, it makes yeah. you really sick very, very quickly. So it's it's terrible for you, especially 
I, I can't even get over that bird room. Like that bird room is in that house, and I would never, ever, ever want to stay in a house where that thing was even, even, even the, if the garage, the detached garage looked like that to a house that I was at, I wouldn't want to live in the house. So it's crazy. It's just, you know, there's like, what, 12 more minutes of the video. Like, I wonder if they're going to just continue exploring the house or. I mean, like, if it's not in house, they might as well. They got business to do, you know, but I mean, we've, we've explored plenty of places where we found homeless people. We found homeless people. Well, so this, yes. This has happened to us. It just that not is true. Good sense has this happened to us where i've been inside of a room filming it and somebody jumps out of the bed well yeah um, because the house has never had the homeless people it was always also, like the jails they'd be very suspect of that bed when i looked in inside of that room because the first thing i noticed was that there was a big bulge inside of that bed and i said is there a dead body inside of that bed right i didn't there? see i didn't necessarily think anything was like because it just looked like some pillows or whatever but the the walker is what I was kind of like, that looks like a super shiny clean. Set like that's up. weird. Well, it looked like it was set up too much. Like somebody that was, that would, that had died or something had like it. that. Yeah, had right. their walker set yeah. next to their bed and like they're ready to get up from a nap. So yeah. And like you said, 12 more minutes of this video left. Let's see what goes on. Maybe they get her a house. Weird. The clock was working. <laughs> yeah. Did you not hear us in the other room? No, which room are you in? We're just having a look around. The one with all the bird shit in it. You know, oh, right down the hallway there. You, oh, fripped me to death. I didn't realize. We thought, honestly, we thought this was abandoned. We it didn't is realize abandoned. someone would stay in there. You have, and so, what, what, what do you do then? So we take pictures of just old, like we like the, you know, like all the old fashioned stuff. Yeah. And like obviously, we don't, we don't have that in our days. <coughs> you know, you yeah. go to IKEA and you get all the modern yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, so we yeah. find like all the stuff interesting. To look at and everything. Have we taken photos then? You've taken, taken some. In one of the rooms, yeah. We haven't been downstairs. I'm taking yet. video of you in your you bed right now. No, not yet. No, not yet. I've got yet. we've got children. Yeah. We've got, four, we've got four children. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, we've been busy fucking, but we do you know, this in our life. We're not walking yeah. the yeah. island. So. Our hobby is going around and sort of finding the old places that we think are abandoned. Obviously, we thought this was abandoned. Yeah, man. I'm so sorry is, is to you. Is there anybody in the farm, then? No. no. Do the people in the farm know you staying here? Oh, yeah. Are they nice? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, crap. Do they bring you food in there? But, uh, yeah, they do, yeah. Okay. Do. I don't think she's telling the truth. She's saying the people no. who own the farm yeah. bring her food. Window missing no. there. Because we There's walked no around way. and had a look. Saw that no one was on the There's no way. Because that place is definitely abandoned. It's totally abandoned. So, yeah, I'm interested to see if they show the outside and like what like property that this sits on. Like, is it a big farm where there's like acres of land, or is it because out of one of the windows there was like a glare, but it looked like there was another so um, this building. Is, if if I'm right and I'm looking at this property the way I see in other farm properties, now what usually happens is there's a really old farmhouse on the property that's like you know 60 70 80 maybe 100 years old they don't want to knock it down it's a great old piece of yeah. you know, property or a building and they have a big enough property that they could build another house on it so a lot of times they'll build another house and just keep that house and that and a lot of times we end up exploring those houses yeah but this this seems like this lady might have gotten onto the property and without the people in the farm knowing um might be staying there because because who who the fuck would know this lady and let her stay inside there? Oh yeah, just go. You know, th there's a couple of rooms with bird shit all over, but you know, there's one nice yeah. one. You know, there's only a couple of bed bugs in the mattress over there. So you go over there and we'll bring you food and shit like that. So you're all good. Yeah. You know, when you need milk, go down to the cows and stuff like that. Go get what you need. Go back inside the abandoned farmhouse. You know, that's I, I, I'm I'm sure I'm sure that she's a homeless woman and she's and she's gotten in there. But I mean, they're being nice to her. I, <clears throat> I wouldn't accuse her of anything if I was there. I just kind of, you know, get the video of, like they're doing of her and go on about my exploring the house. So whatever. And I, you know, I definitely leave her some money, though. Yeah. I definitely leave her some money. So. The farm and that. And we can miss him from the living room. Is it? I don't know. There's a wind. There's, there's a window pane down on the, a pane on the floor. There's a window pane on the floor. So I know someone's moved it. 
Probably. Probably. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This woman is like, she's. Yeah, she's nutty. She's like delusional as to what's going on. That's what they call them over there, nutters. <laughs> well. Have you got clean clothes and everything? Oh, yeah. You have? Yeah. Okay, good. Have you not got any? Isn't there where else you can sweep this better than this old thing? The other bed in there looked better. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you try the other bed in there? No, because it's not fancy that room. No? It's because there's a, there's a ghost. Oh, there's a ghost in that room. Is that what she said? No. <laughs> oh, no, fair enough. So you're gonna get out through the way from the window? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to put the window back on for you? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Put your house back together yeah, for you after we broke inside of it. I was planning on just kicking the front door out. So sorry we didn't realize again. Dave. Well, sorry, Dave. I didn't realise any anybody was living here. I don't, oh, you freaked me more to death than I probably. Did you hear how old you, she said she was? Because I didn't really catch. She didn't, she didn't say how old she was. She said she Well, because they, they asked. Oh, yeah, that's but right. Was, that's right. She heard them inside of that. She heard them inside of that. She house. might have not. She was covered up inside of that bed. She was hiding inside of that bed. She definitely heard them inside of that. How, do you, how, how are they walking around that house and you're not hearing somebody? She definitely. Heard I mean, people are heavy house. sleepers. It's she not like they were making a ton of noise. Happened. There's something suspect about this lady. I'm not trusting her. She might have. She well, might maybe have she thought it was bodies. the owners. She might have a couple of bodies. She might be a murderer. Oh, she stop. might have killed her husband and her family. <sighs> and she might be hiding out on this farm. I don't know. I don't trust people nowadays. She might have thought it was the owners coming in and she wanted to like hide. Yeah, exactly. Because she's not supposed to be there. So well, either yeah. way, she's in the wrong. She's trespassing. <laughs> <laughs> She has a flashlight right next to her. Because she's there at night. No, I mean she's obviously not bathing. She has no light. She, you know what I mean? Like you're, it's just like yeah, yeah, of course. I'm sure there's no running water. Listen, she's a homeless person. Like I said, if she's friends with the people that run the farm and all that stuff, they're definitely gonna let her inside of a, a house or not let her stay inside of there just due to the fact that it's just completely unsanitary unhealthy every every aspect of it is not convenient for her to stay inside of there other than the fact that she is homeless she has nowhere else to stay and she doesn't even care about the health risks like look at that bed like like i said that's like a hundred year old mattress right there that's it's just sick that 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 had like, i don't know you know i don't know what her situation is but like it's just it's just pretty crazy like yeah i mean this is this is not really my worst nightmare it's just one of those things it's it's kind of sad it's it's suspicious and mysterious you kind of wonder what you know you're not going to find out We're obviously not going to find out who this woman is after this video you understand right. so it's been you know however long that this video has been out i don't know if they followed up maybe maybe you'll look into that see if they followed up on this maybe maybe they did Maybe they went back and rested her. I don't want to, I, you know, I think these people that are exploring it good, I'm just wondering why this lady is inside of this uh, clearly abandoned house right now. She's yeah. not left behind by her family, which which was what I had initially thought when she popped up out of the bed was that, holy shit, she's just living in an old house. But as, as yeah. the tale unfolds, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think that she just ended up at this house because she's mm -hmm. homeless. Get you like anything. Do you need yeah, anything? And what do you do in the day? I normally so work. work. You've got jobs. So yeah. We've actually got a day off today. I thought we'd have another look at some <laughs> places that we've noticed on the maps. This being no. one of them, unfortunately. I mean, I again just never dreamed that there'd be anybody in here. It's horrible. <laughs> There's not. Well, we saw there was a lot of dead birds, and that, so we were like. No one's been in it. No one lives here. No one can live here. Yeah. So, I'm f do the people so, that own the farm not have got nowhere else for you to stay or anything? No, no. Jesus. We wonder walk the road, but that's falling apart. Is that the one in the woods? Is that the one? Yeah, we saw that one. Yeah. All right. 
Little spinners. Go up there, up that way, up the road, to the right. Is like, she naming like another area. abandoned house down yeah, the block? Another there. abandoned she... property yeah. or, or a building on the property. We're about to go and look at that one next. Yeah, uh, that's falling in the ground. Yeah, I was living there until it yeah. fell on the ground. That's all that's been abandoned for years. Yeah, of course, you've been going on a little bit, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what happened was, I came here to help somebody. Okay. And this is only for a week I'm coming. Yeah. And that was um, 1993. What? Oh wow, she's so been here That's nearly 30 years. years. 1993? 30 years. So how long you stayed in here then? Yeah. Yeah. This woman needs to get like yeah. medical help. I don't think she Definitely. even understands what she's talking about. Well, also when you suck in black mold like that, you start to get a little delirious. You trip out. Yeah. We're going away for the weekend, but we're back on Sunday or Monday. If there's anything that we can come and give to you, so we're only down the road. Do you need any anything. food or anything? What? Like, if we can come and drop something off on Monday or something for you, anything. That's very like, nice. Your slippers. I mean, that's what I would yeah. do if I was. Do you want some away. nice? Do you need some nice slippers? Do you need anything? Yeah, no, it's just nice slippers. that they're offering it's that. Look at that that mattress. It's just like it looks like there was a dead body on that mattress. There's like I've seen those brown stains when there was a dead body found inside of a mattress. That's what that mattress looks like. Everything is damp in here. It's gonna make you ill. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it might be like another layer of a blanket. Like, look, whatever. You can't cover it. Um, that's what I mean. And you're gonna get ill. You've not got any family at all. No one. No. You have a husband? Are you married? Or... Oh, yeah. You were? Yeah. Oh. Aww. Well, if we could, do you, do you sleep most of the day then? Yeah. yeah. You do? You just sleep? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, on Monday, if we drop some bits around. Yeah, we've dropped some bits around. Can we drop some bits around? No, I don't want you to. I know, but you're. Yeah. You know what? If I had room in my house, I'd tell you. I'd say, "Come on, you come to live with me." No. Honestly, I would. Because look at the oh, state no. of this room. Look but I feel like people just don't want to be around people. Yeah. Like they've well, isolated yeah. themselves. They've been by themselves. So right. So right. A lot of times they're they're probably like humiliated or don't want to ask for the help. But that, and that might have been the problem that they got into in the first place is that they didn't. Get yeah. the help or had a problem with with the help, uh, but I mean, I mean they're nice. I I probably wouldn't take her to my house. I'd probably take her to a you know a shelter, a good place, a church or whatever it is. Yeah, uh, you know. To, I mean, because there's 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 programs, and I don't I don't want to be one of those people that just puts it off on on the government or anything like that. But I mean, that's what my taxes go to and stuff like that. So. I know that there are good places that that help people, especially elderly people. She would never. Yeah. I don't know how it is over there, but I know, like in the states, you know, it, it's usually the youngest and the oldest first, and then you know. So she certainly, if I found her inside of there, I'd, I'd definitely make this video do a lot more for her. She would definitely have some notoriety yeah. off of off of the video that I put out because I would definitely want to get her some help and start a little. Uh, uh, crowdfunding campaign for her or something yeah. like that, you know, and see where we can get her. Um, I wonder if they did this. Did they, we'll, we'll have to look into that. I wonder if they did do that. Check that out. So we used to. I need a little bit more stress. We'll be fine. It's fine. Yeah, we can't. St oh, I just can't believe you're staying there. Honestly, like, it's a, like we want to help you. Like, we're happy to yeah. do what if we can. If you need you. any help. You know. Like, have you got clothes? Yeah, I've got clothes. Where are they? I've got some new clothes. Okay. Where are they? In another room. Uh-oh. Okay, what about, do you have a shower or a bath or anything? Yeah, there's a bath in there. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Is that right, Chloe? But, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've got the kitchen, that's what's trapped in and that. Okay. So you're eating, what do you like to eat? Oh, yeah, I've got plenty of food. You bring me food, I've got as much food as I want. Do you eat, Louis? Oh, yeah. You do? Yeah, okay. yeah. What's your favourite food? Yeah, 
What's crazy is that at some point in the future, if this woman stays here, somebody will explore this house and she'll be passed away. Yeah, unless these right. people continue to go back. Well, I'm sure that I, I'm, I'm. These people seem nice enough that they did not leave here and forget well, about yeah. her. Like, I, I'm, yeah. there's still minutes left in this in this video, but you know, just speaking about it and not to speak over them, so we could talk real quick. It's just, it's just, um, yeah. If they did leave her here and never go back to, or if she just wanted to stay there, and didn't want the help yeah, that they offered, you know, whatever, whatever people. We're going to go inside of there, whether or not it be urban explorers or the people that own the farm or yeah. anybody that buys it or whatever it is, <clears throat> they're going to find a dead body inside there, like you said. So, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I, I hope that these people do end up helping her out in the hopes that nobody finds, you know, I, I wouldn't, I don't think I would want myself or anybody that I love found dead inside of an abandoned farmhouse. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I'll probably leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't I like coffee and tea and like coffee and chocolate. Tea. I like to keep warm though, this weather. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Well, yeah. This ain't got no heating in, has it? No. And all it's the windows are falling here. to pieces. Yeah. Um, Do you like my scarf? Keep you warm. Yeah. Do you want my scarf? Keep you no, warm? no. Are you sure? I've got another one in the car. No, I'm all right, no. It'll keep you nice and warm. No. no. I don't really worry. But it's, um, you can cover them sometime if you want. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Hmm. We would like to come yeah. and have a chat and you know, see how you're getting on. Company and, and whatnot. You can tell us some stories. <laughs> I already given her a we job. Tell you some. <laughs> <laughs> well, have we got any yeah. stories apart from how naughty <laughs> the children are? Oh, no. But it's nice that you care anyway. Of course, do. course do, man. Like anybody who lived in here, you know, I can't imagine that someone would live here. So, does it come feel that bad? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's nice, isn't yeah. it? When it gets warm, yeah. yeah. The mattresses. Yeah. Have, you got, so have you got a kettle downstairs? Oh, yeah. What about a hot, have you got a hot water bottle? Yeah, I've got a hot water bottle. You've got a hot water bottle. Okay. Yeah. I don't think so. Oh. I wonder if they'll test it and you see. Like living in here, though. Yeah, by you know, yeah, I like the television. So, does the TV work? Does the TV, have you got a TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there power in this house? I'm sorry, is that what he's he said earlier on that there was a clock that was on? Now, I figured that might have been a battery power clock, one of those wall clocks in the kitchen or something like that. But was there a a, a clock plugged in somewhere? And that I don't. Hour inside of the house because he said we saw a clock on. So that's the only uh, thing that that's pertained to power in this video. That's I mean, it's right not forward. uncommon to have a you know power on in these types of places. We've yeah. we've experienced that, but and I don't know that she, she has a TV. To watch TV. She says she has a yeah. hot water bottle or whatever it is that heats. I guess something a uh, bottle that heats water, some, something like that, some sort of kettle or something like that. But. Um, I, th I mean, where is she cooking? What is she eating? What is she cleaning the dishes with? What is she, what is she bathing? She's not, they're running she's water inside that. of there. Yeah, Came in no. there. We didn't realize. So you're going out now the way you come in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Thank you. I'm she's we'll walking around with a walker and shit. Jane. Jane. Okay. Take care, Jane. Bye. Jane, though. Hmm. I wonder if that's actually her name now. It's Jane Doe. That's no. it. Unbelievable. I did a lot of research to try and find the name of the farm and whom it was owned by. Luckily, I got the information needed, and I even got a message from someone who knew the farmer who farms there. I didn't give too much information away at first, but I had a lot of questions I wanted to ask. I discovered this man knew of the lady. 
Wow. I was told that the farm was lived in by the man and woman. I was told that she is cared for. However, she chooses to live like that. He explained that her husband is up there constantly and that she won't accept help very easily. And despite everyone's what? efforts, chooses to live like that. I was told that she no also has a brother. Partly glad that she was known about and had a potential husband. I was happy. However, I still didn't feel sure about the situation. So I did some more research. Although the farm is out off the records uh, on any land registry, I managed to find another property that belonged to the lady since 1986 and 2015 for the man. Unfortunately, the house looked as derelict as the farm. I did notice that their surnames were different despite being married. With being told different stories by the man who contacted me and the lady herself, I thought the best call would be to contact adult social services i spoke to a gentleman on the phone who asked me to email everything over in which i did three days later i received an email which said good morning thank you for your email i can confirm that adult social care are aware of this lady however i'm not able to provide you with wow. any further details we appreciate your input and the information you have provided and thank you for raising your concerns with us regards Great. We wanted to return to see the lady, but not, did not want to impose in her life now, knowing that the farmhouse could potentially be owned. So instead, I told the man to pass on a message that we would happily return to see the lady if she would like us to. That is absolutely unbelievable. I, that, that story, first of all, that, the ending to that is crazier than them finding her in the house initially on video like that because mm -hmm. somebody knows that she's living in there and she's willingly living in there when her husband she right? has a That's problem husband, yeah she yeah, has she definitely is mentally ill or something like that like you know like or i don't i don't know depressed Maybe she mentally people, ill she has whatever that is an insane backstory to that just to the that that's an insane video first of all yeah. because they found her inside of there sleeping like that and comfortably like no, don't need any help. I'm cool. Will you come back? Hang out with me? Whatever. I'm cool. I'm good. I got food. I got all this stuff. The people down there, they give me food. I'm all good. And then you find out that it is, in fact, all good. Everything yeah. is going on. It's cool. <clears throat> they have no problems with her staying there because she, in fact, is a part of the family. That is an absolutely That's insane. so sad, though. Yeah. I mean, the Pretty fact crazy. that they even like, a, like, don't for like, I mean, I guess you can't really force somebody, but it's like, I mean, to allow yeah, her to just live in. Know? But I don't know because I've never dealt with anybody that obviously has some sort of mental illness. I mean, and I don't want to say mental illness because she might be old and she might yeah. have some sort of dementia, some sort of, you know, problems like that along those lines yeah. so there might be that going on she might not have always been like that um, and, and it might have been something that was taken on by old age or something like that but there's definitely problems like that there and i've never had to deal with somebody in my family that's wanted to run away live in yeah. the woods in a building or wherever it might be in the streets whatever it is so i've never encountered how how you would deal with something like that I mean, especially if, I guess I guess if it was if it was either they're gonna walk off into the middle of nowhere or stay in my abandoned farm and it was nothing else, I guess I'd like to stay in my <laughs> abandoned farm. You know what I mean? Obviously, <laughs> when she says they're bringing me plenty of food, I have all I want to eat. They're they're obviously giving her all she wants to eat. So she, you know she eats. I mean, yeah. Dinner, you know? And and that is what it is. But that is absolutely insane. I mean, because at that point you can't clean up that house. You can't do anything about. No. it. What that looks like that 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 house is on i mean it's it's salvageable for the skeletal structure and you know obviously you could take some of the parts and things like that and refit yeah. and stuff but i mean it's it's a disaster inside of those walls you know inside of some of these walls these birds get inside of there and such a nest they absolutely look disgusting like so like, yeah only imagine what some of that house looked like we obviously didn't see the rest of it and she's living there she had a whole entire like if you saw at the very end there before the video cut out they're in the living room downstairs there. yeah and she has things set up like it's a living room but it looks yeah. like any random place that any urban explorers would have compiled all the shit that's around the house and just set up like a living room area that's what that living room looks like so it's pretty crazy like she's living in a full-on abandoned house and and i guarantee that there's other explorers that go to that place that have i mean it has on a map or something like that so there's there uh, there's i mean yeah, but it's like, would we go to a house knowing that somebody's like living in it like that? I mean, I don't know. Like, because I mean, word gets around saying, about it. 
I'm saying in terms of it, it's on a map before anybody had seen this video. Uh, or yeah. Seen or heard of this video. Yeah. And somebody ends up seeing the abandoned farmhouse or it's on some sort of ex explorer's pin map that's been shared around or something yeah. like that. Somebody's just sending sending people to a, a lady's house purposely. You know, like, yeah. So that's I don't crazy. know. That's the thing. But that was definitely a pretty messed up video. Definitely not, not, not a complete urbex nightmare but definitely there was a nightmare going on there for somebody and uh yeah that was a good one so that was a great yeah. suggestion so yeah i just saw it and like i said the thumbnail and the title i was kind of like well what what could it be but yeah. i feel like like you said there would be worse nightmares that you know we can get into but this was pretty shocking i wasn't really expecting somebody to straight up be living in there and then finding yeah. out at the end that they're willing to just be there so yep. yeah crazy Pretty crazy video so good suggestion and thank I you yes with that being said anybody who's watching these check them out we got live streams going on the patreon we're going to get everything going back up so go check us out on members the members only patreon all that stuff that we have up and running these videos will be out we're going to be doing some live streams if they're not already up in the patreon you can go check that all out um but yeah there'll be videos all kinds of stuff, big trips going on. And uh, we'll see you the next time we do either one of these or an exploration, which should be coming up pretty soon. So, yeah. Yep. Peace. Peace.